A small community college in Columbia County is emerging as a trailblazer for a female sport that is now the equal counterpart to 11-man football. WGXT sports reporter Alessandra Pombrion has more. If you drive 50 miles west outside of Jacksonville, you'll end up in Lake City, Florida, where a small community college with an enrollment of 3,000 students is nestled on the outskirts of town. A small oasis hidden from the world, but not for long. When you have the opportunity to attain something like we did, which is special, like what these kids did this year will never be taken away. It's something that they'll have for the rest of their lives, and it brings a lot of notoriety to them, to the sport, and obviously to the school, and we hope that we made Florida Gateway and Lake City proud. This past year, Florida Gateway College added a women's flag football team. And in its inaugural season, the Timberwolves had goals they wanted to achieve. It's not hard to talk about what needs to be done, but it is hard to go through it day after day and kind of really do all the things that it takes to accomplish what you want. And that will seal the deal. And the Timberwolves from Florida Gateway College win. One goal was to win it all. And in May, the Timberwolves won the NJCAA National Championship in Atlanta at the Mercedes-Benz Stadium. It's very hard to believe that we were the first to do that. Like, I've never been a first of something, and it's really nice to be a part of something that's brand new. There are 12 athletes from all over the state on Florida Gateway's roster. The journey to the title game began last August. They practice six days a week for three hours each day. Uh, the girls, they're focused on everything. They're just as competitive as the guys are, and it's such an explosive and fast-paced sport. It's exploding on the national scene, obviously, and I'm blessed to be part of it. Flag football leagues are quickly emerging all over the nation. The NFL is a major contributor in the growth of the sport. Many NFL teams, like the Jacksonville Jaguars, are helping promote the sport on the national stage. Now there are two collegiate leagues in the NJCAA and NAIA. I think it's uh, going to become a big sport, and I honestly think it's going to become a sport that's also in the NCAA, and I think it'll be a Division I sport at some point within the next five or ten years. You may be wondering how flag football compares to tackle football. There are a few differences, like having seven women on the field instead of 11. In-game scenarios, the situations that you get yourself into is way different in men's compared to women's. The Florida Gateway College flag football team is giving high school athletes the chance to continue playing a sport that for years was not available. Now the playing field is equal and the future of the sport is bright. In Lake City, I'm Alessandra Pomperon, Channel 4, The Local Station.